If you've ever questioned whether you should be milling or wire cutting a component, you should carry on watching this video. I'm here at Cambridge Dynamics on behalf of Fanuc. MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events and special offers via video media. Andrew, we've got a very yellow Fanuc EDM machine here, wire cutter, the C600. You bought this machine recently. I'd be interested to know for our viewers why you bought it. Well, we had an older Fanuc machine that's been with the company for about 35 years. Uh, it's always run reliably. We've had excellent results out of it. It's getting a little bit long in the tooth now. Um, and we decided that we needed the extra speed and the extra work area. OK, how long has the machine actually been installed? About six months now. And has it enabled you to tap into new markets to generate new work? Uh, or is it, is it just primarily for existing work that you want to do quicker? No, it's definitely allowed us to do more work. Um, it's also allowed us to approach certain jobs differently. It's allowed us to uh, rough out certain shapes that would have taken quite a while to do on a conventional mill or even a CNC mill. And it's allowed us to go through some quite hard material without wearing our tools. OK, and obviously you're, you're not new to the EDM, but yourselves, you, you, I believe you've just acquired the business. Give us a little bit of an insight in behind the acquisition and when you took over. Well, the original owner has been uh, with the company for about 47 years. Uh, he decided he wanted to retire. My father and I are both heavily into engineering and have um, that sort of experience. And we decided that it fitted in with what we want to do, precision engineering and automation equipment. And this was your first, I suppose, stamp on the business to buy this machine? Yes, definitely. Um, we felt that it was a, a real area that could be improved. The guys were using the old Fanuc quite a bit and it was running almost 24 7 because the the old when you compare what you've got here to maybe what what you've had which is obviously quite a, a lot older you'll do new jobs a lot faster what about the programming do you do offline programming as well we do a fair amount of offline programming the learning to program was fairly quick going from the older machine even though there's a 30 year difference in age uh, a lot of the controls are quite similar we had a lot of excellent support from Fanuc. Every time we've given them a call and said, we're not quite sure about this or we want to use this new feature, we've had great feedback from them. Um, they've often come on site and helped us out, even though they're not obliged to. And, uh, and yeah, we've really gotten up to speed quite quickly. And, and because evidence would tell me from looking at some of the components, which we'll look at in a minute as well, you're not a production outfit, are you? Or in fact, very, very far from it. Oh, very far from it. Uh, typically, we're doing one-offs, maybe two or three-offs. Um, you know, all of it's very specialised applications. You know, it's guys who are doing pre-production prototypes and it's guys who are doing tooling for production lines when it's a very custom part and the guys um, only really need one or two off. And because some of the parts we will look at, I often would look at them and not know whether you should mill them or wire cut them, but you've got an interesting slant on that. So let's go and have a look. So this is interesting because to me this this could quite easily be milled, but of course you're wire cutting it. So where do you see the differentiation? Well, for a start, uh, when you look at small inside angles like this, you have to get quite a small radius milling cutter into that corner. Now, yes, you can do a tool change or you, know, you can try and mill the entire piece out with a fairly small diameter tool. But by the time you've programmed that and by the time you've set the tools for that, even though the milling process might be quite quick, on a single off like this, wiring it is going to be a faster overall time. So basically, the, the actual process of cutting the material might take longer, but the overall production of the part is going to be quicker. Our guys can program something like this in 10, 15 minutes at most. It may sit on the wire and run for an hour and a half unsupervised. Our guys can get on with something else. And uh, then you've got one of these in the same amount of time it would take to just program the CNC machine. OK, that's part one. Let's have a look at another component that you're actually making here. This is quite interesting, this blade. This little blade is something we wouldn't have tackled before. If you try and grind these blades, you end up burning the tip. The tip gets very hot, you know, grinding is a friction-based process. And uh, using the wire cutter allows us to get a very sharp edge straight away without any dressing whatsoever. So that is something that, like you say, grinding or milling, it, it, it couldn't be done. It's perfect for this type of machine. But will you be making this in quantities? We're hoping so. I mean, we're still busy with pre-production prototypes. We're hoping that uh, the customer will say to us, well, that's exactly what we want. Please, can you make thousands of them? Um, we will see. We don't believe that there's a quick way to do it without a wire cutter, so we hope for the best. And is this an example of new work that you have got as a result of the machine, or is this work that you had before and you were maybe subbing out? 
no, without a doubt, this is new work. Um, this is something we wouldn't have tackled. Certainly on the older wire cutter, this would have taken close to 10 times as long. Uh, that's the difference in speed from the older machine to the new machine. And uh, we wouldn't have tried to tackle something like this. OK, and then the third and final part we're going to look at now. Again, this is uh, a, a one-off, a, a prototype, or just a, not, not production. Well, we're refurbishing a series of these machines. There are eight in total. Um, this is more cosmetic than it is functional in that the old part worked perfectly well, but if you look at it, it's just not a nice, neat piece of engineering. It is in a part of a machine where people are putting their hands in fairly regularly. There's some sharp edges on it. You can see that whoever designed it first time around wasn't exactly sure where they were going with it when they first made it. So we now can program something like this up in 10 minutes, knock it out, looks very nice. It's in stainless. Doing it in stainless doesn't slow us down at all compared to doing it in mild steel. So it's just a really good use for the machine. Okay. And we haven't pre-rehearsed this. Uh, kind of putting you on the spot a bit, really. But if, if you had a, a sentence to sum up the purchase of the Fanic machine, what would that be? If we had the money, we'd buy another one. Ah, don't get much better than that. Thanks for your time, Andrew. Pleasure. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.